Hello everyone, it's Jessica and today I have a background to share with you using the tags and trimmings stamp set and if you have not heard Stamping Up is offering free shipping today only the 27th Monday on your Stamping Up order so um, it's a good deal that you might want to take advantage of this one is my favorite stamp set from the holiday catalog, the tags and trimmings, and of course everything will be linked in the description. Um, here I use Tranquil Tide and Lemon Lime Twist. Yeah, so I just had to use the little dot stamp, and I love those holly leaves and the buttons. Those can be used any time of the year and um, so can the enjoy stamp so this is a really good stamp set i'm going to use lemon lime twist and you can use your ink pad if you don't have a re-inker and you can also use your favorite color now first i wanted to get a kind of a um an uneven border around the card and this only took me five minutes to do <clears throat> so it looks a little complicated but it's really simple um, I'm using this little ruler that I've had forever I don't think you can buy it but you can get um, a similar product and I, I tore four strips of paper and now I'm applying the Tombow glue and um, this glue, if you um, apply it to paper, it becomes like a mask glue and it's repositionable. And um, so you can use it as a mask. I don't have any other masking products. So anytime I need a mask, I use this Tombow glue. And so far it's worked um, perfectly for all my needs. Now I'm applying the ink. I just um, put some of the reinker in the little tray there and um, I'm just applying the ink to the paper and I'm using regular cardstock I think it's 110 pound so I'm not using watercolor paper and I want a gradient effect so I'm making the edges darker than in the middle and you just keep playing around with it until it looks like um, how you want it and I also took some ink and splashed on some ink splatters. And then I, you will want, before you do the ink splattering, you will want to let that paper dry. Otherwise the ink will bleed out everywhere. I'm also using Lemon Lime Twist to stamp the image. And you'll want to ink that stamp up really good and Press down firmly for about three seconds and let that ink um, soak into the paper. And um, there were there I did get ink on the edge of the rubber, um, but it did not stamp off onto the paper. So it wasn't a problem with this stamp, but sometimes the stamps will you'll get those unsightly lines from um, the edges of the stamps, but this stamp um, did not do that and there is the finished background and um, i really like this look it's kind of that um, gorgeous grunge look and you can see the edging there too i can't get that effect any other way just um, just only by using the mask next i added a strip of red paper real red and um, you can leave it red or you can stamp on it like I did. It looks good either way. And I decided to use this Chevron background stamp and emboss it in white. And I'm using um, Recollections Embossing Powder in Snow. And now I'm heating that up to melt the embossing powder. And the edges um, were kind of uneven, but I, I like the whole look. I think it um, goes with that grunge look. So 
Here is the card so far. I've got my big shot here and I'm using the wonky stitched rectangle dies. That's not from Stamping Up, but um, I, like the, I like the look and I use them a lot. And I didn't show that. That snowflake is from the um, Trim Your Stocking Thinlets. And both of these stamp sets are only going to be available until January the 2nd. Um, and that's it. You won't be able to purchase them after that. Now, I'm taking the little snowflake bunch stamp that came with this. It's so cute. And I stamped it in lemon lime twist also. And I had trouble with this card. And the reason is, is because it was five by seven. And the celebrate the season sentiment is a good size for the A2 size card, um, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. But it's a little too small for this five by seven card that I've got. And so I was trying to um, try to make the sentiment look right. In the end, I think the card turned out OK. Um, I should have used the tear and tape under that ribbon, though, because that does not look OK. And you can see it here in a second in the picture. It's kind of wavy looking. Um, and that finishes up this card. Um, if you like my cards, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks and have a wonderful day.